What the? Who did that? Sorry. Much better. Martha Graham. Oops, my bad again. Why did we hire her? Because I... Shush! Quiet on the set. But I said quiet. Martha Graham and modern dance. Martha Graham liked to break the rules. <coughs> Just like Natalie. Anyways... Martha Graham was a dancer and choreographer. She was born in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania on May 11, 1894. Her father was a doctor, and they eventually moved to California. When Martha saw Ruth St. Dennis perform, she knew she wanted to pursue a career in dancing, but not like the others. Every dancer did either ballet or jazz. No one moved beyond ballet's strict moves or the Broadway style of jazz. Well, no one except for Martha Graham. Martha began to expand moves while teaching and dancing herself. She used moves that involved the whole body in her dances. It told a story and came to be known as modern dance. Graham grew up in Albany, now Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, and went to dance in Dennis Sean School of Dance and Eastman School of Music. Dennis Sean was founded by Ruth St. Dennis and Ted Sean in Los Angeles, California. It became the first dance academy in the U.S. with a professional dance company. Eastman School is located in Rochester, New York. There, Graham was free of the constraints of public performance. Martha Graham had made Dennis Sean and Eastman like her home. Martha started dancing in 1910 at age 16, even though she was considered too old, too heavy, and too short. However, she continued to dance, teach, and choreograph for over 70 years. George Graham, Martha's father, was a doctor who specialized in nervous disorders. He told Martha that he believed the body could express its inner senses. This always intrigued Martha. In the 1910s, the Graham family moved to California. At 16, Martha saw Ruth St. Dennis perform at the Mason Opera House in L.A. From then on, Martha knew she wanted to be a dancer. Martha Graham liked to show the vulnerability of the human body. She did a lot of movements exposing her wrists, neck, and chest. Graham wanted to see and understand the loose movement, but also the deep meaning behind modern dance. Martha's technique included contraction and release. Contractions start with tucking your pelvis and move to your lower back. Most people want to curve their whole back, but the goal is to keep your head the same height and tuck in the stomach, pelvis, and lower back. Releasing is just straightening your back out to its previous stance. Martha also used the spiraling of the spine in her pieces. What you would do is twist your torso and shoulders to one side. The trick is you have to keep your head and hips facing forward. Wait, isn't this supposed to be about conflict and compromise? Well, modern dance wasn't accepted and was thought to be a disgrace. Most dancers back then did ballet or jazz. There was no in-between. Martha's students began to embrace the feeling of modern dance. Soon enough, everyone at her dance school loved it. To this day, modern dance has survived and thousands of people enjoy it. All thanks to Martha Graham.